Peace. What's happening, y'all? If you all are not familiar with what just transpired in my city, St. Louis, we just had to bear witness to a tragic event of mass shooting, claimed the lives of two individuals. One was a 16-year-old student. Um, and the second one was, I think she was maybe 61, teacher that was there. You know, so my condolences to all the families that were affected. And I think there were probably four or five other individuals that were wounded. So my condolences to all the families involved, all the families that were affected by this tragic, tragic event. But I'm bringing it up to build on the controversy surrounding the alleged, the alleged shooter. Okay, so first of all, you know, they say he had an AR-15 style weapon with 600 rounds. So he was striving to wipe everybody out. 600 rounds, man, you, you, you coming in there to kill. Secondly, the description, of course, it's a 19-year-old young black man by the name of Orlando Harris, supposedly a former student at this high school, Central Visual and Performing Arts. That's the name of the high school. St. Louis area, you know, but Orlando Harris, a 19 year old young black man that was a former student at this high school, allegedly committed this tragic situation, this tragic shooting. Now it sounds cool. All right. Do go in there, shoot the school up and they got him. They have identified him. Sounds simple, right? Nah. See, when you tap in, because we was following a lot of local news circuits, so there were a lot of videos circulating online at the time, like right after it happened, where they were having conversations with some of the students, some of the people that were involved in it, that were there, talking about it was a white guy that committed the shooting. Like, the, this is what some of the students are saying. We are seeing videos of some of the students saying, hey, the shooter was a white guy, white male. That is what some of the students are saying, right? So how do we go from the students identifying the killer or the shooter or one of the shooters as a white male to the sole shooter is a black, young black male named Orlando Harris? Then we also saw reports and heard reports of there being three shooters, three people involved, two white men and a black guy. So the black guy is the guy that they have identified and they showing that image to us. We've seen him, but we have not seen any white guy, any, any image of a white guy that was supposedly involved in this particular situation. I find that funny. So how are we getting... How are we getting the how are we getting a situation where you got some of these students, some of the people that were there saying, "Hey, I saw the, I saw the shooter. He was a white guy." So now all we seeing is the image of this black dude. I don't know about y'all, but it would be very hard for me to confuse a dude that's about darker than me for a white guy. That's not it's not gonna happen. I don't care how. Listen, I don't care how hysterical these kids are or were. If they said they seen a white guy, then I'm pretty sure they seen a white guy. You don't mistake, you don't make that type of mistake in IDing a person, especially in a traumatic event like so. So I want to know why we not seeing this image of any white dudes. Why are we not getting any names of any white dudes? Here we go. Here we go. And it took them a minute to release this information to us, fam. Now they ended up killing they uh, they ended up killing the guy. They ended up killing the shooter, so to speak, in a shootout. You know, but again, I've heard that there were other parties involved. But this is not the story that they are giving us. And it took them too long for them to give us this information of the so-called shooter Orlando Harris. This stuff is not adding up, man. It's fishy. But again, I'm going to get labeled a conspiracy theorist and things like that. But man, this is not adding up. How are we seeing videos of, of these kids talking about they saw the killer and he was a white guy? They saw the shooter, he was a white guy. Or they saw the shooters, plural, but yet we only got one. And the, the black dude is the one that just so happened 
to get killed. We not hearing anything about these other white, these two other white guys. What I heard was one guy killed, one guy wounded, one got away. But the news is not, they not built, they not elaborating on what we all saw. Like the people in the St. Louis area, we all saw these videos of these kids letting us know it was some white folks involved, this white dude involved. So what's up, man? They trying to cover something up right in front of our faces, man. Keep y'all keep y'all eyes open in regards to this development, man. I'm trying to tell you, man, for my out-of-state folks, tap in. Tap into this story, man. I'm telling y'all, man, it's fishy. It's going down right where I'm at, man. They really striving to cover this up, man. They lying, man. Hey, this black dude may have very much so been involved. But for what I'm hearing, he was not the only one involved. AR-15, 600 rounds. Where is one black dude getting all of that ammunition from? Come on, man. One black dude walking around with an AR-15 style weapon with 600 rounds? Nah, y'all got to stop playing with me. I wasn't born yesterday, man. But I ain't going to rant too much about that, man. That's just something for y'all to, to think about and keep y'all eyes open, man, towards, towards the news in the St. Louis area, man. They out here covering some things up. Of course, they not going to admit it. They may even ban this particular video, but it is what it is, man. They out here covering some things up, man. They lying out here, man. They covering it up, and I ain't falling for it. So I just want to speak my piece, man, and let them know that, hey, we see what y'all doing. We see what y'all doing. Y'all ain't about to trick us, man. Y'all ain't going to bamboozle all of us out here. We hip. But I'm out, y'all. Y'all be easy. Peace.